every day. When the sun goes down, at Tiburtina train station in Rome, dozens of people line up in silence, waiting for dinner from the volunteers of the Baobab Association. There are migrants coming often straight from the ports of disembarkation, were refugees, but also so-called economic migrants. On their arrival in Rome, however, they find only street life. They have no place to stay, so they spend months on these sidewalks. Mustafa, originally from Gambia, was one of them. He worked as a tailor in Libya. When the war broke out, he escaped and reached Italy by sea. After two failed attempts, he finally managed to secure international protection. Many times he risked being repatriated. It's not fair to repatriate a person who is paid with sacrifices and put his life at risk coming by boat. Why don't you ask yourself, why do we come by boat? Why don't you ask yourself too, why don't we take the plane? Because we don't have freedom, that's why. 80% of asylum requests are rejected in Italy. The evaluation process might take years. In the meanwhile, many asylum seekers are homeless. The previously existing hosting centres in the country have closed. Baobab provides first assistance to everyone. It is not possible that in 2020 there are all these people sleeping on the street. Above all, COVID has shown how that even in the case of a pandemic, these people are completely abandoned by the institutions. The proposed European Pact for Migration intends to pre-screen migrants at the borders to determine within 12 weeks if they are likely to receive asylum, a decision based mainly on their nationality. The risk is the creation of new camps at the borders. We see a glaring gap at the heart of these proposals um, around safe and legal routes to protection. It doesn't make sense for us to, to look at combating um, irregular uh, migration, stopping people moving at all costs, um, rather than ensuring that the system is uh, planned and uh, managed in a way which works for host communities and for new arrivals. Migration means often marginalization, people living in very poor conditions, just a stone thrown from our houses. And while governments in Europe are fighting to shrug off the responsibility for the management of the migration flows, those who are paying the price for these divisions are over there, literally living in the street. Elra Cavallone, Euronews, Rome.